of communism, but the imperialist ambition of Putin and the Kremlin is still there. And today we are protesting against that. And we are sorry, not just, we were unhappy, not just for the things that are happening in Ukraine, we are also unhappy, we are sorry for the things that are happening in Russia. Imperialism is the curse of every empire. Every empire will eventually be broken up. That is the only way to free the people. A people cannot be free that oppresses another people. I think that the Russian people now are beginning to understand that. And that is why there are protests in Russia. Unfortunately, Putin and his gang of, of uh, murderers, and there's no other word but murderers, after what he did in Chechnya and other parts of Russia. This is not good for the Russian people. And I appeal to the Russian people, Putin is not Russia. Putin is anti-Russia. Putin and his gang must go. And the Russian people will have to unite with the Ukrainian people, with the Belarusian people, with other peoples that have been repressed by the Kremlin gang and free themselves. Therefore, Rosyjani, підтримайте українців. Українці є з вами. Не хочуть вашої свободи, так само, як і своєї свободи. Long live free Ukraine, independent Ukraine. Long live free democratic Russian people united with free democratic united uh, Ukrainian people in separate friendly nations, in separate friendly countries. There is no need to be under one, uh, one uh, capital. Ukraine has its capital in Kyiv and Russia has its capital in Moscow. Let's keep it that way. Putin, get your bloody hands off Ukraine. Thank you. Putin hands off Ukraine! 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 Я горда тим, що ми українці. Нас підтримує сьогодні весь світ. До нас прийшли представники інших громад своєю підтримкою, своїми прапорами. We have representatives from another community. Right now I'm so proud to present to you um, gentlemen who came with the flag of Syria. You know the situation in Syria. You know the role that Russia plays in Syria right now. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, can I hold your flag for a second? I'm, I'll be proud for that. Uh, I want to say I'm so proud of all of you. I'm, we are completely in the Syrian community in complete solidarity with what you're doing. As you know, Syria, there are more than 200,000 people killed. Half the population is today displaced and refugees. And the consulate that you see behind you and what it represents, the Putin administration, has vetoed three times any type of resolution to condemn the regime in Syria. They are directly involved in the killing. It's a regime, uh, supporters of murderers. It's really funny and sad how the Putin administration says that it's against intervention in Syria and any types of intervention, and it's on the border of invading your beautiful country. We are completely in solidarity with you. Freedom to Ukraine, freedom for Syria. We are so proud of you. Thank you! Thank you so much. We support Syria too. We support Syria! Thank you. We have another guest here at the corner. We support Syria! We support Syria! We support Syria! We support Syria! Another two young men with, uh, with the flags of Azerbaijan and they know what it means to be under the Russian and Soviet occupation. They were with us at the Soviet Union. So I'm so proud to see such a young man come here to support us. Um,
Press the button. Press the button. Uh, I hope I'm representing, and I believe I'm representing, majority of Azerbaijani people who are with the Ukrainian people in their struggle for Ukrainian independence. In Maidan, in here, in Montreal, and all over the place, in every city of the world. We know what it is to be under Russian, and we cherish our independence, and we want our uh, post-Soviet friends, countries, uh, to be independent, because we are stronger when we're independent. And we are with you and support you in your cause for independence. Slava Ukraine! Thank you for your support. I give the youth Svetlani Krojcik megaphone. Thank you very much for coming. I think I would like also to say a big thank you to media because what we are facing right now in Ukraine is not just an invasion of Crimea. It's a result of a 20 years of long informational war against Ukraine. The Russian media are totally disturbing the message. They're totally disturbing everything that is happening right now in Ukraine, and this is the how people are absolutely deprived of the real information and the real situation in Crimea. There is no, nobody attacked Russian people. The people who speak Russian language are as Ukrainians as people who speak Ukrainian or any other language in our country. We have so many minorities and those people always felt free and safe on our territory. And this is very important to hear for this amazing Russian government and understand that nobody is attacking Russian people, nobody is attacking Ukrainians who speak Russian. This has nothing to do with language and you cannot use the language as the reason to invade the country. This is a breach of all international laws that ever existed that you signed and you gave us as a promise to not invade the country. We gave up our... Sorry. We gave up our weapons in 1994, nuclear. so nuclear weapons. We had bigger reserves than any other country, and you know it very, very well that we were free and we wanted to show to the whole world that we will never attack anyone, and we signed the law that says that we will be protected, and you guaranteed that. And now you're breaching this by invading Crimea, by putting your armed forces on our territory. Putin, go away. Putin, go away! 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 Putin, Arrêtez la pression sur l'Ukraine 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 Je cède la parole à Grégory Hradi, un acteur euh, reconnu ici à Montréal qui provient de l'Ukraine. Slava Ukraini! Slava Ukraini! Slava Ukraini! Je voulais faire mon hommage à ce jeune peuple, les garçons, les filles, ceux qui voulaient vivre en dignité, ceux qui ont perdu leur vie dans la guerre annoncée par l'ennemi brutal et impardonnable. Je voulais vous chantez la chanson pas tout à fait connue qui est devenue malheureusement connue en Ukraine 
Et c'est une chanson très, très triste. C'est une chanson funéraire. Hey, pour aimer Katcha, pour te signer, pour aimer Katcha, pour te signer, mam kosh moya, ne va y meni, mam kosh moya, ne va y meni, hey. Nalaješ mi v zvodinu, nalaješ mi zvodinu. Oj, sam ne znaju gde pohinu, sam ne znaju. qui sont là dans la place d'indépendance en Ukraine à Kiev, euh, ils pleurent partout. Et ce sont les pleurs et les larmes qui nous, qui nous mènent à un auteur incroyable. Je dirais que c'est une révolution de conscience, une révolution de dignité, de l'éveil total, parce que le monde vit présentement en crise, crise terrible de matérialisme qui tue les âmes des hommes. Et ça, 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 ça donne le résultat des violences inhumaines et l'Ukraine présentement est totalement réveillée et tout le monde peut voir. Et nous sommes tous là-bas avec notre cœur avec notre âme. Merci beaucoup. Slava Heroyam! Slava Heroyam! Slava Heroyam! обов'язково переможе, тому що з таким народом ми не можемо не перемогти. Нас не зламали і не зламають. І знову Путіну не вдасться того зробити. Я дякую Григорію за пісню, адже ця пісня стала пам'ятним гімном новим героям України, які полягли на Майдані в Києві. Я продовж цього хочу сказати, що ми сьогодні принесли і благодовали Portraits of the victims who had died last week and uh, during the three months, previous three months, in Ukraine, on Maidan, in Kiev. And we will put those portraits here with the candles, with the flowers, just to remind them once and more about the blood that they have left on Maidan. I ask this Vita, is us. We have a priest, he will pray. Za pamięć i upoki 